if you found a magic lamp and you had three wishes that were granted to you, any three wishes you want, what might those be? We're going to talk about that in this edition of the Sultan of Small Talk. This is the flying carpet edition, and we're going to take off on a flying carpet ride. Watch and enjoy. Is this good? <laughs> <laughs> wow this is a pretty good gift i just got it from spencer's in the mall it kind of doubles as a salt shaker and a gravy boat but also turns out it's got magic powers i'm a big fan of the aladdin movie it's true it's probably my number one favorite animated disney film of all time and the fact of the matter is i think everyone likes it because when you think about that idea that you could be granted three wishes, it's pretty inspiring. You start thinking about all of the fame or all of the wealth or all of the power, all of the control. Depends on what you're looking for. But you know what I've noticed is in a business, it is much like that of a set of dreams that you have, aspirations that you want, wishes that you want fulfilled. And so you go off on this journey probably don't have a magic carpet ride when you're on this journey, but you do fulfill a lot of those dreams along the way. But what I've come to realize is those dreams and wishes do morph and they do change as you progress in your business. For example, what I remember very clearly, very specifically when I started my business was I wanted it to be a really large business, one that has a lot of employees, a lot of trucks on the road, a lot of monetary wealth that could come of it because I was just billing a tremendous amount. And then I realized very quickly that that's not necessarily sustainable. And it's definitely a scary thing when you consider a down economy. So what I almost did was bite off way more than I could chew. In fact, I told my wife that we are going to buy this business that was already established and it was already doing multiple millions of dollars. And because of that, we were feeling this is going to be a great opportunity. But once I started to rest on that and think about it, I realized, oh my goodness, if we have a downturn, we're going to have a lot of guys that either need to be laid off or they're going to be expecting a paycheck, or we're going to have a lot of vehicles that are going to have to be paid off or leases that have to be made or insurances that have to be paid. And all of those things started to give me a lot of anxiety. What I came to realize is I decided I would just buy a very small business, a small manageable business, one that didn't scare me at night. And I think that's probably best. Now that I'm a little bit older, I know that I made the right decision because truthfully, we don't have the same stresses that I would be under had I taken on that multi-million dollar business. Not only the the um, the payment that I'd have to make to the bank to go ahead and pay off such a big business, it's mostly those things that I'm talking about. My employees are tight knit and we're all really a lot of fun. And I don't know how I would have been able to manage it if we went through a COVID-19 experience with a huge, deep payroll. So uh, what I want you to think about is what are the things that you are most excited about in your business? What are the things that maybe you had desires to achieve in this business and have they changed? Have they shifted? Have the, um, have the desires kind of melded in a different direction in the, um, in the last few months because of the, th is that, f no, Mel is melded a word? <laughs> Who's, can we get a Scrabble champion in here? Is melded a word? It's not melded? Melted? No, it's not. It's definitely not melted. We could probably edit this. <laughs> what? There's no Spencer's? Oh, oh, there's no mall. Oh, there's no Spencer's in the mall. I got this on Amazon. Very nice, $9.99. My kids love it. They want it in every color, every variety. My wishes these days are a little bit different. I really wish that I could have a bit more free time to spend with all of my kids and my wife. That wasn't necessarily on my peripheral when I first started. And I would also like to have 
a few more days off. Is that fair? Can I talk about that? Because I feel like I was working way too hard when I started and I felt I had to and I think it's a great idea to be very ambitious and work on weekends and work at nights and do what you have to do but eventually that should shift towards a more desirable, sustainable lifestyle. One thing I really do wish for my business and I think about and I value is that our reputation is always stellar. We live by the reputations that we have and we live by the reviews these days because we're very much an online presence. There are many different places for people to wage their opinion of you, whether it be a Yelp or an Angie's List or a Home Advisor, depending on what category of business you're in. And I find myself so often thinking about how this is going to affect my business if we don't do things very well. So I never think about a job as just a job. We always have to play it where it's the last possible job. That doesn't make sense. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You always have to think about every one of your clients as being the one who's going to say something online. And granted, it's hard to get reviews. I don't know if you've ever tried it. You may have to ask seven different people to give you a review, even when they had great experiences with you. But they'll say yes, they'll say they want to do it, and then inevitably they'll forget about it altogether. But when you do get the review, you want it to be absolutely stellar, and they want it to be demonstrative. Is that a word? Yeah, she says that's a word. <laughs> you want it to demonstrate exactly what it is that you guys are all about and what the experience would be for that next prospective client. Do you have an example? <laughs> I like the question and answer session we've just done now. Why, yes, I do have an example. First, though, I would like to go ahead and transition this way. I realized that ever since I was a young kid, I always cared about how people think of me. It's probably a flaw. I ran for class office a long time ago, and in my freshman year, I realized that I did win by a pretty large margin between myself and the next competitor. And I wasn't really focused on all the, the people that said yes. I heard about three people that just did not want to vote for me, and I could only focus on those three people and I think the way that it works now is very similar I could have 95% of the people say this is a great company with a lot of integrity and great value and yet when somebody says something a little bit off-putting I'm more concerned about them and seeing how I can go ahead and make it up to them and I call those people I don't think they're ready for it I, if you get a review and it's not going perfectly call them see how you can go ahead and step in and maybe change their mind so if I were to go back maybe a decade ago, I know that my focus on earning a good income was really kind of a top priority. And it's not that it's not important anymore. In fact, it should always be somewhat relevant because realistically you have to buy things in this world, I've come to realize. Even if you don't want to, you have to pay for college education, you sometimes have to pay for groceries, things like that. So it's always going to be important. It's always going to be valuable that you have a business that can sustain itself. But what I think is as important now is having some reliability. And I used to want the flashiest this and the flashiest that and the newest, but that doesn't seem to really hold up. You know what I find? I just like solid and reliable, which seems really like I'm an old guy now. Is that what 44 year olds say? I think so. But uh, whether it be with the relationships that I have, I want them to be reliable um, with the team that I have in place. I want them to be reliable. So not so, the cars that broke down. Two, no, no, we're not talking times. we're not talking about those cars that broke, broke down, down this work. week. Right. So I don't have really reliable vehicles, but we're working on it. It's still on my wish list. If only this thing would work. You could spend all of your day just dreaming and wishing that things will come to fruition, but I think it was Michael Jordan who said it best and he said if I quote some people want it to happen, some wish it will happen, and just other people make it happen. So I think what we have to remember today is we're still gonna have to get out there and make it happen. And I want that for you. In fact, that's something that's changed 
this year that's different from a decade ago. With this, I'm not interested in making a ton of money with this. I really want to help people. I want to see if some of the things that I've learned in doing some business might be able to rub off on others. And I'd love to hear what you have to say. Not only would I love your commentary about what topics you really have an interest and a desire to learn more about, I'd love to hear what your three wishes are, possibly how they've changed and how they've stayed the same. I'd love to see you write it in the comments below and let's talk about those things until next time enjoy the carpet ride that doesn't make sense until next keep your feet on the ground and keep wishing for the stars stay at home mom stay at home mom stay apparently my home. wife wants to stay at home will you stop with the thing and an awesome thing happened this last week a subscriber whom I've never met before, don't have any Facebook relationship with, who lives out in Arizona, had reached out to me just out of the blue. And I love the fact that they had the uh, conviction and the confidence just to reach out to me, ask me some questions, tell me a little bit about their business and what they wish to achieve. And I implore you all to do that. If you have any questions at all, if you want to reach out to me, I would love to make myself available to you because it's fun. Let's do it. But first, they need to like and subscribe. <laughs> My woman, she's always there for a good plug. You need to like and subscribe to have access to this kind of entertainment. I'm the Sultan of Small Talk, talking about your wishes. Let's make your wishes come true. I think I got it done. What are we doing now? Just like We're recording? No. Oh, what are you doing? Nothing. You just hit a button. You're recording right now. <laughs> you are recording. Turn that thing off.